Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. I'm back home in Uppsala right now, and I thought I'd keep making these videos and go through something pretty important today. It's nice and sunny outside, so I'm feeling good. Um, and so we're going to handle rotation, because this is something that bugs me, and I got to be feeling good to cover. So <laughs> we're pretty much ready to do this. Now, origin and rotation are interlinked the origin of an object is always where the object is going to rotate so usually the origin in our box is uh, if we make a little box here the origin is always on the top left corner of the box it's by default zero zero there because that is zero zero of the objects local space all right as you can move an object in the world if this is the world it also has its own local space so wherever the object is in the world the local coordinates for this object are always going to be the same say if this box is 50 50 so 50 wide 50 high the center of the object will always be 25 25 no matter where it is in the world it could be at 200 200 but it's still going to be 25 25 locally on the object so origin is handled locally so if we make a rectangle shape uh, rectangle and we're just gonna say rectangle dot set fill color let's start with that uh, color white we're gonna do rectangle dot set size so we're gonna set the size to uh, we're gonna set the size to about 100 wide and 50 50 high so we're good and we'll, we'll leave it at oh, I'm sorry about my nose guys and girls uh, we'll leave it at at the top so I'm not gonna set the origin now I'm gonna make another thing called a circle shape of course and just call it circle I'll do circle dot set fill color color green <laughs> alright and then circle dot set radius is going to be uh, five it's gonna be a small little circle and uh, or how about ten let's do ten uh, we'll do that and then we'll do circle that set position uh, god damn it window dot get size so in the center get size dot uh, x divided by two window dot get size uh, dot y divided by two so we're in the center now okay we're in the center we're good we will not set the origin for that yet oh, or circle we could actually uh, so, so it's exactly in the center set now this is the thing origin where it's not only rotation wherever the origin is that's where that's gonna be the center point of the object where set position and get position everything gets their values right so if it's at zero zero there's not going to be an offset you're going to get the position where the top left corner of the object is if you put the origin in the center of the object you're going to get the position at the center of that object and it's going to be set at that position as well so if i set the origin to 10 10 which is the center of the circle since the radius is 10 uh, we're going to put that thing from the top left corner down to the center and when we set the position before it's gonna be wrong so we want to do this before because this is gonna change what this is gonna do it's gonna it's gonna take that position in the center and put it at the center of the screen so we're gonna get the exact center of the screen we're not gonna get any offset so uh, so let me just show you that let me do here window dot draw rectangle and then window dot draw circle okay there we go and let's go maybe you won't be able to see it that clearly but uh it's exactly in the center now if i did this zero zero and remember this is in the local coordinate of the object so i mean i uh, can't really see it. zero zero on the object is top left that is where I had it, 10, 10, and that would be 20, 20. 
all right but there is a square around this circle as well it's not a actual circle it's, there's a bounding box around that uh, but yeah let's make the circle like a hundred then you'll be able to see the offset a little more so the hundred see how it's the center of the screen is at the top left corner of the circle because we set the position of the circle position at the center of the screen now if I made the circle 50 50 no 100 100 sorry because that will be the center of the circle and then set the position it's gonna set the origin there and it's gonna set the position at the origin so that's how origin works alright now we're gonna leave it at 10 like it was with the origin as well um, I think it auto corrects the bounding box so it puts the bounding box around the object no matter where the origin is um, but yeah here we go now I wanna make sure I can move this object so if keyboard is key pressed keyboard a uh, this no whoops rectangle that move minus 10 0 uh, let me just do this a d w s so d would be positive W would be negative. Y, this would be pos positive. So there we go. Now we can move our box around. And we want something to rotate it. So if, oh, whoops. There we go. And we say R, for example, dot rotate 10 degrees. Uh, so that should be good. So if we start this now, now remember I didn't set the origin for the rectangle. The rectangle is movable, but there is no origin is still at the top left corner of the box. So it's rotating along that axis. See? Now we're gonna set the make something here. Uh, if rectangle dot get global bounds dot intersects circle that get global bounds uh, circle that set fill color color red else circle that set fill color color green so this is gonna switch depending on where the object is now it did something bad um, oh I think what okay so that was a big ass bug uh, never mind so see how it it changes color when we collide now to show you that the bounding box is kinda screwed up see it's still colliding because the bounding box will go like this it won't go like you think it will so you can't make a kinda bounding box like this by itself it's gonna look like this alright it's gonna look like that depending on the width and the thing is just gonna kinda for looks rotate it alright but when you put it in the center or uh, you rotate a circle you know it's kinda alright just just for the looks of it you can rotate it so see how it's colliding now if I were to set the infamous origin rectangle that's set origin to the center of the object now what is the center of the object I'll let you guys think if it's a hundred wide and fifty big 50 high. If you guessed right, then you'd have 50 and 25 in local coordinates to the object. So the rectangle's local coordinates are 50, 25 to get to the center of the object. Now it's rotating along the center. See how the bounding box is kind of like this? Like down, boom, boom, boom. See that? So, I mean, yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works, guys and girls. And, uh, yeah. That's how it works.
no nothing strange here it's just the origin is important at times because every calculation you do now is going to be from the center so when you get position it's going to get that position not this position that you're used to so remember that that's why i rarely change the origin i only do it when i have to rotate something but yeah you can play around with that you can see what you get and it's important to know what this does because once you rotate it uh, it's it's rotated and you when you set the origin again it's gonna be weird so remember that uh, but yeah thanks for watching I hope you learned something take care and I'll see you in the next video bye bye